Hi guys, it's Saturday morning. Yesterday's vlogging went a little bit strange. Yeah, we stayed up and watched the election results. Hence, when Michelle got home from work last night, we didn't stay up at all. We both fell asleep on the couch. And I think I gave up at nine o'clock and went up to bed and you followed up at... Back at 10. Back at 10. When I woke up. Woke up on the couch with a broken neck. Because you lie in a funny position. I thought, mm, no. So we sacked it, went to bed. So, welcome to Saturday morning. Right, a few errands to run. I'm going to leave the house for the first time in a week. Except for when we went to vote. Leave the house for the second time. Memory. Memory, I've watched my vlogs. I've got loads of evidence that I've got memory loss. <laughs> yeah. And thought, that's not a good thing, is it? No. No, welcome, oh. welcome to my life. Eh, I'll not remember this conversation. What's it matter? Anyway, we're going to have a cup of coffee and start the day. We're going to go nip out, do a bit of shopping, and we're going to binge on something. Not food, but probably will be food as well. Binge on uh, some viewing pleasure. Michelle's out tomorrow having her turn purple. Uh, blue, sorry. Blue and purple. There was purple. Blue and purple. There. Yeah, yeah, got it right. I was listening. See? I have video evidence that I do sometimes listen. Or that you say it enough times that I remember it. Probably the second. Anyway, with that, let's start the day. Let's go and get some coffee, yeah? Moving on. First trip out since we went and voted, as far as I've been pointed out to me. And it's roasting in this car. Cue music. Okay, let's get going. Okay guys, first port of call. No, we're not going abroad. Going to get a parcel from UPS, is it? Hopefully it's still there. If it's still there. Maybe. You catch us there, a bit of indecision. What do we need to pick up? We've come out and guess what? Guys, do yourself a list. No, it's just because I remembered, and then I remembered I had that other kit, and the kit, you know, went on the, the coffee table. And does that still have pins in it? And I can't remember. It has some, but they might, might get big. But I've not seen the small pins. Hey, we're talking about picture hanging because first what you might see in the back seat there is our first pickup, which is new posters for the hallway. Yeah, and as uh, my HR said to me at work, pervert, pervert pictures. Moving on, you'll find out what I mean later. Okay, that's errand number two done. We've got fuel to get to work next week. Now, Tesco's for food. Moving on. Okay guys, yes I can say, this rain is cold. It's freezing. It's rainy. Anyway, that's errand number three done, and that's us done. There is some left. Oh, still got coffee left, and that's us done. Off home now, to have a cup of tea. Yeah, put the brisket on. Brisket for tea, so we can cook that all day. Uh, and Alan's very graciously agreed to make stovies for... An attempt at making stovies tomorrow morning. Make, make stovies for tomorrow night's tea. With the, uh, the balance of the brisket, because we want it all in one sitting. Or it shouldn't be the piece I just bought. If we do, we're... Uh, if we do, we can't afford meat. Yeah. Because we could have got McDonald's for the price of that brisket. Oh, yeah. The bed's out in style. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. 
Okay guys, that's us back from our shopping and I've got myself a new t-shirt, Star Wars X-Wing. Sorry, sorry I'm reading it. Okay. Yeah, Tesco's. How much? Uh, 12 quid. I think. 12 quid from Tesco's. 8 quid. 8 quid from Tesco's. 8 quid. So there you go. I just see them and when I see them I grab them. Because um, <laughs> they won't be there for very long, especially the cool ones. So. Yeah. It does look like the new, new summer stuff like Tesla's. Anyway, Aaron's run. Aaron's run. I bet to kettle's going. We're about to get breakfast on the road. And I'm going to go finish my editing. So moving on. Okay guys, we've just run an errand and one of our errands to pick up was our package that's been at the depot for ten days while we sort ourselves out. So we've got an uh, as I always say, an unopening. Or an unboxing as it should be. In fact, that's the actual new word now, un unopenings. Because as you can see, Michelle's struggling to open it, so therefore it's unopening. And okay guys, that's where it's gonna go. At the top of the stairs, on the bathroom wall, leading into the two bedrooms. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm stitching this in. Uh, this is kind of way after the event uh, because I lost film. I don't know what happened. I Me, mean, GoPro kind of stopped recording. It stopped recording twice. Uh, once when I was doing the unboxing and once when I was showing you all this what we put up now for the unboxing bit uh, one of the things you actually saw come was my uh, what do you call it Harlequin poster which you've seen which is up there and the other thing was Michelle's Slytherin poster that she bought that's what was in the box and that uh, them two framed cost us £30. Okay now the other thing I was showing you before it turned off was Michelle went hammer happy and started putting our stuff up. So this is something that we bought from the Coca-Cola store. I bought this from a charity shop for £6. This we bought from the Harley Davidson store. Both the Coke and that at Disney Springs. I can't remember where I bought that one, but that's outside the toilet door. You just see the bathroom door there. No parking. Just see a bit of my vlogging equipment. And the other stuff, obviously we got the Universal Studios and Hollywood Studios. Clapperboards, because they're just nice. The other thing, Coca-Cola. Uh, for a moment, sir. Again, got that from the Coke store. And that's kind of what I was showing you before the GoPro stopped recording. Oh well, moving on. Okay, guys, we're about to watch England Scotland World Cup qualifier. Now, some people around here would say ABE, wouldn't you? I wouldn't. No, no. Not I... your dad would. Sometimes. He's very patriotic as my dad. Uh, well, today he's definitely going to be Scottish, isn't he? Nothing but. Oh, yeah. And I'm hoping that I can get him on Facebook before he gets me on Facebook. But usually around here it'll be ABE, but in this house we're just going to be completely neutral and watch England win. Yeah. We think. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens in the Ella and Shell house or come half time when Scotland are winning 3 0. Yeah. England are going to win. Scotland, Scotland, we've never had a good national team. Yeah, but you expect to lose, so I'm hoping that you'll, get, you'll be up at half time and your dad can really rub it in and then it'll be all better at finishing time. And I can say, you were saying? Anyway, moving on. Well, okay, guys. We watched the football, 
Well, she all got very excited for a few minutes, didn't you? Yeah, last nine minutes of the match were the most exciting part of the whole thing. What did you think of the last one and a half minutes, though? The ABE came out. No. Not a, we, we're not, we don't take sides in this house no. until Scotland scored two goals. You, you were just as excited when England scored, thank you. I was a reaction to, to your reaction. What, the first time? What mean the first time? The first time England scored. What did I do the first time England scored? I went, yeah, and that was it. Very muted. Michelle went, yeah, expected. And then Scotland scored and you went, ha, 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 ha. And then when they scored the next one, it was, yeah, all around the edge. <laughs> and then England scored and she went, expected that. Yeah. <laughs> Typical. We can't. Right, anyway, yeah. Best result all around, actually, in this house, I could think. No controversy. Decided the Scottish goalkeeper it is good at, ta at table tennis with his balls, with, with, with the foot there. Uh, it's a rubbish goalkeeper. It wouldn't have mattered who'd won. It wouldn't have made any difference in this house. But, anyway, that's that one over with. So... Then after that, we went and watched the film, the Vin Diesel film, with that Scottish actress in, I can't remember her name. She was in Dighton Abbey, and she was also in uh, Game of Thrones. You don't remember, you don't know her name as well. Mm. She always plays with an English accent. It's very, it was a alright film, actually. Yeah, well, anyway, that's just saying I've noticed, I can't remember her name, Scottish actress, I think she's from somewhere. And Vanessa. I'm just from somewhere, but I don't I can't remember where. Yeah, so I should do my research before I start waffling, shouldn't I? Anyway, yeah. The last witch hunter, yeah. It, it was okay. I, I, the answer was I've seen better films, but I've seen worse films. So eight or ten, I'd probably give that a six. Six out of ten. Yourself? Yeah, about a six would be about right. <laughs>